Collectors, I need your help in talking about creating your own YouTube channel. When it comes to product reviews and trying to keep up, I think it's super tough for one person to be able to do it. I want to start from scratch. So I want you guys to get rid of all the things that you think you know about YouTube and YouTube video making and dial it back to the mindset that you have to be in in order to be a content creator. All these tactics and tricks can be used across all different kinds of hobbies. So if you collect figures, Figures, model cars, coins, stamps, whatever it might be, or it could be about your car, it can be about your collection, it doesn't matter. So clear your minds, clean the slate, and let's dive into five mindsets that we need to all be in before you start your journey, starting right now now. So mindset number one, think about a niche or a channel theme. A niche is going to be something very specific to what you want to talk about. So maybe you're a Honda model car collector and you want to show off your Honda collection. That would be a very specific niche because it doesn't include Nissan, Toyotas, and Mazdas. It's more for the Honda fans. And when you niche down like this, it actually helps you target certain people that are into that exact same thing that you are. As far as the theme of the channel goes, you want to think about, are you going to be doing product reviews, racetrack setups, kind of like our friends over at 3D Bot Maker, comparison style videos. Maybe you want to share your own collection or your ongoing collection and what new additions come in and things like that. Or maybe you are a collector of one brand and you really love that brand so much that your whole channel is dedicated to that one brand. Maybe you want to talk about 64 scale figures. Maybe you want to talk about dioramas and maybe your master plan city diorama that you're creating with all the goodies that you're getting from Model Cars Houston. You can even get some ideas by looking through my channel because I've created a pretty diverse library of different things such as how to, comparison, versus, product reviews, and some of the things in between when it comes to model cars as well. The biggest thing about this part is just pick something you are passionate about. Pick something that you love, pick something that you enjoy talking about to everybody and you just cannot stop talking about it because those are gonna be the best types of topics for you to always express to your audience. So for mindset number one, and just to get you started on maybe brainstorming, come up with a list of maybe 20 video ideas that we just talked about. So don't wait start making that list. Mindset number two. Now again, guys, we are starting from scratch. So forget everything you think you know about YouTube. Just get that all out of your brain. Forget about viral sensations. Forget about all that stuff. But number two is going to be, do not compare yourself to other people. When you're starting this journey, you have to think that you're creating this journey for yourself. There's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs, but the main key element is that you have to be persistent and you have to be consistent. That way you're always in engaging with the people that are interested in watching your content. So like I was saying, don't compare yourself with someone that has 5,000 subscribers. Don't compare yourself with someone that has a million subscribers. That has nothing to do with what you're doing because you are on your own journey. Same goes for views. Someone that has millions and millions of views is not going to compare to what you're doing. Those are viral hits and things like that. They might be music artists, they might be celebrities, or just really big name people on YouTube. And some quick housekeeping rules on this one, don't ever blatantly copy other people's material. You obviously don't wanna do that. My suggestion is since we are all individuals, we all do things differently, we may have a different take on certain things. Put your own spin on it. Maybe you've got a better way of talking about it. Maybe even in the visual presentation, you've got something unique that you can put into the video. So always think of this as your own unique journey and think of it as your own unique experience. Number three mindset that we want to be in is don't get caught up in numbers. When you start your YouTube journey, you are not going to be seeing as many views. You're not going to be seeing as many subscribers because you're starting from scratch. You're literally starting from zero. Some of you guys may have channels already that have existing people and you're adding new people daily or views constantly. But sometimes keep in mind, guys, there are some bad juju things going on out there. Don't try and spam your channel channel just to get the numbers up because that doesn't help either. You want to make sure that your channel is growing organically as possible. People that are genuinely interested in the material that you're expressing, those are the types of audience and people that you want on your channel. Whether they subscribe or not, as long as they're still watching it, you are good to go. And if they want to continue watching your stuff and they really like you and they connect with you, then that's when they're going to subscribe. Keep in mind that YouTube's primary focus, aside from all the virality, and big superstars that are on YouTube is that 
At its core, YouTube is designed to help people solve problems, answer questions, or keep people informed on certain topics. As long as we are creating this service for them, then they're always gonna be coming back to find out the next thing that they need to resolve. We are the driving force behind the core audience of YouTube viewers because ultimately YouTube wants people to stay on YouTube as long as possible. So question of the day, what did you guys think about these mindsets that you need to be in before you start your adventure on YouTube? Let me know down in the comments below and also let me know down in the comments some of the other mindset and things, tips and tricks that you think might be helpful for the community and leave all those comments below so that we can all talk about it and discuss it together. Check out these other videos in the next slide. I will see you in those videos or my next video.